have been more low-key than usual. It's the second Diwali since the pandemic began. Some people are focusing on lighting their homes this year, but the northern city of Ayodhya has continued its record-breaking tradition, lighting more than 900,000 oil lamps to, remark, to mark the return of the god Ram from years in exile. Pavni Mittal has more on the preparations from New Delhi. It's the most widely celebrated festival in India and also the biggest shopping season. Hundreds of Diwali shoppers have thronged markets like this one in New Delhi over the last few days. With India's COVID-19 caseload dropping to its lowest level in months and most of the population at least partially vaccinated, Diwali festivities have been on in full swing. Businesses are also counting on shopping to recover from the huge losses they suffered during the lockdown earlier this year. This year is no better than the previous one when we were in lockdown. Last year was still better than this year. There's hardly any work this season too. I don't know whether I should say it or no, but it's a hypocrisy. Because on the one hand they say ki keep social uh, distancing, but the other hand they are, you know, they have... They actually, they don't maintain anything, any decorum, any social distancing. So what's the point of uh, setting up these rules? I don't understand. Diwali also marks the onset of pollution season, especially in New Delhi and parts of northern India. To stem this, many states are only allowing people to burst what they call green crackers because they're less polluting. Delhi, which is one of the most polluted cities in the world, has banned all firecrackers and imposed a hefty fine on violators. Delhi's air quality this week did dip to one of its worst levels this season, and the Met Department predicts that air pollution levels will remain high over the next few days.